Hello everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel of Developers and Coders Club. Today we are here to discuss the problem kth equality, which is a part of recent contest to code forces 880. So in this question, uh, there is a equality a plus b equal to c. A, a has a digits, b has b digits, and c has c digits. All the numbers are positive and are written without leading 0. Now our target is to find the kth lexicographically smallest equality. Where written is existing like above or determine that it doesn't exit. So like if a is 1, b is 1 and c is 2. Then what can be the possible uh, choices for a? That is the smallest number which have one digit only. That is 1. We cannot take 0. Why? Because of this. Uh, all the numbers should be positive. What can be the largest one digit number? That is 9. For b, that is 1. So what can be the smallest one digit number? 1. What can be the largest one digit number? That is 9. For C, what can be the smallest two digit number? That is 10. And largest two digit? That is 99. So all the pairs from these two, this, which make a sum of two digits, that will be the possible string for this one. Okay? Like uh, if you take A, A, so 1 then what can be the choices for b can you take any number from 1 to 8 obviously not why because some from 1 to all, uh, anyone from this will be will make a one digit number only but our target is to make a two digit so for this uh, 9 is only the choice for 1 so 1 plus 9 that is 10 then uh, for 2 we have two choices 8 and 9 for 3 we have three choices and so on for 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So from these all strings, our target is to print the kth lexicographically smallest string. Okay. Now let's see it. Now first of all, tell me that uh, like a plus b equal to c. Now if you want to find the lexicographically smallest, then first of all, we will check from, uh, from left side that if anywhere the number is different, then we will check that like we have two strings okay and we are checking from left side and if anywhere we are getting two different character or digit on that condition we will check that which which is the uh, smallest like if this is x this is y then if x is less than y then we will say that okay this is the uh, a string which uh, will come before this one and if x is more than y then we will say that okay uh, y will come before this one so like uh, first of all we will check for a then we will go we will go for b then now the question is do we have to go for c when we will go for c only when when a and b like we have two string in both a and b are same and c is different then we will check that okay, uh, is there any digit in C1 and C2 which are not same. But is it possible that A plus B is equal to C and C1 and A plus B equal to C2? Both cannot be different. So both will be same. So my point is to uh, say that if uh, the number are same, then we don't need to uh, go for C. Like the order of lexicographically will depend only on A and B okay now like uh, le let's take an example like a is 2 b is 4 and c is 6 okay what will be the smallest two digit number mm, that will be 10 how we are going to calculate that is it right power of 10 2 minus 1 that is 10 what will be the largest two digit number 99 that is this one what will be the uh, same for this what will be the smallest four digit number this one what will be the largest four digit number that is this one this is six so uh, one zero 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 this is the largest six digit number now our target is two for every number we have to check that how many b's are possible for that 
and how what i mean to say that possible that all if we are choosing a a then we have to choose such b which sums up a six digit number like there can be some possible like 10 and 100 uh, this is not making a six digit number but i think these are also not making so um, we can erase it like take only five and okay leave, leave that that can make or not make now uh, that will not make any sense in this one like what i want to say that you have choices from 10 to 99 for b you have choices 100 to uh, 1000 to four nines so what you need to do you can iterate from all numbers from 10 to 99 okay for every number like i am calling it i a for loop from 10 to 99 and you will iterate for every i and you will check that what is the uh, possible choices for b how we are gonna going to check that one that like if you are taking 10 as your number then there will be some possible choices for b which you can take like uh, there may be some numbers which are not making a six digit number there may be some numbers which are making a seven digit number like these are making five digit number and these are making seven digit number so we are going to choose only that range we are which is making six digit so what you need to do for every i we need to find this range okay so uh, we need to find two numbers one is the starting number another one is ending number so how we are going to find that thing for that we can use a binary search in which what we are going to do that we have i means we have the uh, a so for this a like uh, what is i that is a so for this a we are going to uh, select that range for that thing what we are going to do we will put a binary search uh, what will be the range of this binary search us will be the starting number that is in this case 100 one triple zero and ending is four nines so we are going to check every uh, mid of this and we will check that this i plus mid this is the sum what are the digits in this sum if that is a six digit like i mean to say that if the digits are c then what we are going to do so we will uh, make uh, two binary searches uh, one for the smallest number smallest number of this range another one is for the largest number of this range so in this case if the uh, sum is equal to six digit number then we will put that over a possible choice for answer possible smallest number of that range can be mid or can be before mid because we are going to choose the oh, okay can be before mid because we are going to choose the smallest number and if uh, i plus mid the digit like let's call that lambda if lambda is equal to c then we are going to do this one if lambda is more than c what it mean that if the digit in the sum is more than c then uh, that means the sum is going more than the c digit more than c digit then we have to come some uh, less numbers so for that uh, we are going to decrease our range and if lambda is less than c then we have to go some more numbers for that we are going to increase our us this is for smallest finding the smallest number of that range for largest the only difference is that if you anywhere you are getting the your c digit number then you will update your us is mid plus one why because you are going to find the largest number and that will be after this current number that can be after this current number so from these two binary searches you can find the smallest number and uh, largest number of that range 
so what we have now that for a particular i that is a we have a range from us to l and we can select any number from this a or b and that will sum that uh, some of that will make a c digit number okay now uh, let's come on the part of kth lexicographically smallest now there can be two conditions either either uh, the kth smallest string comes in these this range or that comes after this range that cannot come before this range why because you are iterating from starting and we have checked for that one so there can be only two condition either that come in between these or that come after this one so if that is coming in between these numbers then what we will do like if just think that value of k is 3 then we are going to print the this is first this is second this is third we are going to print this string a and this b so in this case we will say that okay we have find our answer of a that will be a, uh, current i answer of b that will be smallest number plus k minus 1 is it right plus k minus 1 this is first this is second this is third so plus k minus 1 plus 3 minus 1 plus 2 okay and our answer of c that will be this answer of a plus answer of b what if k comes after this range that means the uh, k is more than the size of this one that is l minus s plus 1 in that case we will say that okay we have checked for this range now uh, reduce your k with l minus l s plus 1 and check now the kth number kth smallest string after this one so we'll update this as this one and we will go for the next i so let's see the code okay so abck is here smallest a digit how we are going to calculate that is 10 power of 10 a minus 1 b digit same largest uh, power of 10 a minus 1 so this is how I am going to calculate the smallest a, smallest b, largest a, largest b, smallest c and largest c. Now our final answer will be nc, nsb, nc. Then I am starting my loop from smallest a to largest a. Then I am going to put two binary searches. First one for smallest b digit for this particular i. And uh, in this one what we are going to do that i plus mid what is i that is a what is mid that is a possible choice for b if that sums up a number which have digit uh, which is smallest c digit more than smallest c digit and less than largest c digit that means that comes in our uh, range of c if that is then we will say that okay, okay this can be our possible choice for b and a choice can be before this one also because we are going to calculate the smallest p if uh, digit in this one that means the sum of this is less than smallest c then we have to go for the larger numbers so for that we will increase over us and if the sum is more than or larger c then we have to come for less numbers and for that we are going to decrease over e this is for smallest b digit for this particular i and for calculating the largest b digit for this particular i the difference is only that here we are doing e is equal to mid minus 1 here we will do s equal to mid plus 1 that is for calculate the largest number for this i now if both are not minus 1 that means we have got some numbers there may be some, there is some range for this particular i of v then we will do the total what is the total number in this range that is largest b minus smallest b plus 1 okay now if that is more than equal to k that means the k comes in this range in that case we will update our n's i will be this particular i and b will be 
is more as b digit plus k minus 1 and c will be the sum of both and we will break because we have got our answer else we will decrease our k with total number in this range in sign in last if anyone is minus 1 then we will print minus 1 otherwise we will print nc plus nc plus nc so you will get the code in the description you can check from that i hope you all got it see you in the next one till then happy coding bye bye